In teaching freestyle, you must know a few things when you're dealing with a partner. The go and no-go zones. When dealing with the head, if you're going to rotate the head, you'll do it by the ears. A go zone is from wrist to elbow on the arms. A go zone on the leg is from the ankle to the knee. Anything above that is a no-go zone. Anything above that or any other body part is a no-go zone. So remember, when we do the freestyle kick, what's important is your feet, okay, and your legs. Your propulsion comes from that itself. So again, depending on how fast you want to go, it's how fast you're going to kick. You can do one foot per stroke. You can do up to three, uh, three kicks per stroke. If you try to get started, one of the easiest ways to do this with is the kickboard, flotation device, a partner, or even using the pool wall. Remember, use your hips for your thrusting and your propulsion, not your knees. And your power comes from your hips. That's a simulation of the pull. This right here being the pull wall. What you want to do is while you're holding on to the wall, you want to raise your hips outside of the water. That's going to reduce your drag. Okay? Remember, your power comes from the hips, not from your knees when you're kicking. And when you're kicking, make sure you're rotating that body based upon your arm stroke of how you're gonna be doing. Make sure your head stays straight or neutralized. You want to either facing towards the direction you're going into or towards the bottom of the pool water. Again, whenever you move your head from side to side like this, it will create some form of pull for your body to go to the direction wherever your head is facing. So remember, Keep your head neutralized, and you always want to breathe outside the resting shoulder. So if you're going through your stroke here, your breathing motion will be here, outside the water, while once you're going back to the other arm here, underneath, when you exhale. Remember, your arms are rotating, opposite directions, going from your fingertips up to your shoulders. While your left arm is going from the resting to the catch phase, you're pulling the water back with your palm. While your right arm is automatically in the pulling phase, it's extended down to your hip, fingertips to the bottom of the pool, while the palm is facing behind you. Lastly is the body. Make sure it stays strong and long throughout the action, okay? Again, your hips are elevated above the water, that way it creates no drag or pull. And again, you're alternating your arms and your legs from each stroke of the body. So that's my demonstration of the freestyle stroke. Remember, when you're teaching a stroke, whoever you're teaching, number one, make sure they're calm. If they're calm, they'll be receptive. If they're not calm, then guess what? They're not gonna learn nothing. With that being said, have fun, take your time, be safe. This is Kevin Gilford, I'm out.